Dovey here, and today we have a new episode in the art review series, and today we'll be checking out the work of Il Il Kwan Kim. Um, I found this artist through ArtStation, and I believe it was this piece that got me, and uh, or was it ArtStation or Pinterest? I'm not sure. Uh, what I do know is I've seen this piece uh, repinned. Uh, re kind of posted a lot on Pinterest and I do like the look of it because it does have like it's, it's a mix of line work like you can see the black ink work um, it's a bit it's not too tight but you can see some flat colors underneath um, some slight gradient use or soft brush use so it's not completely like a flat color there are some gradients, um, obviously some shadows, one main flat color, and maybe some extra highlights. But uh, it has that comic book feel, I guess. Um, although I think what's really kind of unique, or like the, 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 the line work is left as black. Like there is no blocked pixels thing where you color the line work um, in relation to the, the flat color or the color beside or close to that line so it's treated like a, a, te a technical kind of drawing and you can see like the entire process of it like sometimes you'll see like the ink work only now this one's more of a pencil sketch but like it's an unfinished drawing it's like a first draft I think um, but sometimes you'll see say I don't know this kind of thing right a sketch and then some ink stuff with some grays and then maybe some with color and then some with more like a finished color look without the background and then sometimes you'll see something like this this is um asuka i believe from evangelion is it i think it's asuka one of the main characters in the evangelion anime so this one i would consider a full illustration you can even see some blurs here defeat some lens flare and I can see some chromatic aberration abo uh, aberration I think it's where you can see the uh, the RGB shift thing it makes it look more um, professional in a way or just more epic looking or more digital in a way and um, I like it you can still see the line work in this stage the the ink line sketch or not uh, the line work but if you focus in on the actual line work, it's not even that tight. Like it's in the right place, but it's not meant to be super uh, finished or clean. Like it's mostly finished, but it doesn't have to be like that perfect. And so it's nice seeing the entire range of the work. Here you can even see like the background was, I think it's a photo with some filters and then some paint overs. It's kind of like a photo bash approach. And then the characters are left without texture. Usually the characters or the way it's rendered, it doesn't have texture. It's just about a, bu a bunch of um, flats. Again, like a comic book style. And some shadows. Two main values, the light area and the dark area. But it doesn't go that dark. And I think it's because uh, the line work is, or the, the, the lines here, is already left black. So if you use darker shadows, like pretty much close to black it just makes it look more heavy and it, I, I think that's unnecessary for this kind of approach where you want to leave in say the darker uh line work or sketch now this one's from the um i forgot her name it's an anime uh, the wolf chick fuck it's one of my favorite animes like the the aesthetic of it the vibe it's a uh, fuck, <laughs> but it's super cool. Uh, now this one is this one is this person or this illustration is pretty much this one, but without the background. But again, very consistent style. I do like it. Now this one's from the Black Panther movie, fan art. Some sketches. I do think this was the first draft. Like I feel like this is the raw, unfinished, unfixed. That's my guess anyway. Um, sketches. So a lot of head studies here. Another Asuka sketch. Evangelion fan art. 
Now for this line work, it's a, it's a bit more messy. But if you look at it from afar, you know, it works. It, it doesn't have to be like that. Like this one is way cleaner, I think. It's more of, a, again, illustration. This one's Deadpool. Some Harley Quinn. Two versions, I believe, of, of Harley Quinn. I do like this version. I guess I'm just used to this more, the cartoons and such. Um, it's more playful. Um, this one's more, I guess, modern with the colored hair and the super tight shorts, I guess. And the baseball bat. Um, I'm used to Harley Quinn having this clown kind of costume with the uh, the big hammer. Even for the effects, there's this black line work. I would assume or I would guess that you would just, you know, lock the pixels in the line work uh, layer and then you would just color it. Or lock the transparent pixels and then just color over the, uh, the line work. But for Quang Kim, I think the black outline is pretty iconic or it just works for the style, I guess. I mean, is it clean? Sometimes you'll, you'll even see like the waviness of the the pen. Like it's not meant to be perfect. Like it on its own, I don't think it does too well. But with some flats and with some basic shading, it's gonna work. This one reminds me a bit, a bit of Adam Hughes, like the way he renders. Um. Here we have another Evangelion fan art. I forgot this chick's name, but she's actually my favorite character because reasons. <laughs> so this is a Wolverine with the uh, the mini Wolverine chick. I forgot her, Lara, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, again, the line work, it's pretty scribbly, pretty wavy in a sense. Um, it, it reminds me also of Kim Jong-gi, he, like he's not always super smooth with his line work. You can see a bit of waviness from the, his uh, draftsmanship or penmanship. But it works, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I do like saying stuff like this where it's not fully, I guess, clean. And maybe that's just me, because you know, I, I'm not a very like super tight person or artist, so. Seeing how your stories or designs can show through, even with this kind of uh, approach or methodology, it's very inspiring and it makes you want to draw or it gives you at least some confidence to know that you can kind of do what they're doing. This one's definitely one of my favorite pieces of Quang Kim's and the Asuka chick. Right? So this one, it does have a background. I think there was another version without the background, but uh, this reminds me a bit of Star Wars, in a way. So this is Harley Quinn again with the new modern version of the uh, the costume design. But like even the way it's colored, like it doesn't always have to be super tight. Like I mean, I I, I get it. It's a sketch, but like you get the vibe a bit, you know. Um, it, it shows through like the story, the. Uh, the idea of it, the gist of it shows through. And you can pump these out fairly quickly. Right? And I think that, that's why Kim, Kim jong Ki, that's why he, he can pump out th that much or that amount of drawings or a lot of like art is because the he doesn't have to be as tight with the line work and he doesn't even color his pieces. So, so maybe that's why I think that's one of the biggest reasons why he can pump out that much amount of work. And uh, if you're just focused more on drawing, eventually you're going to get more of the, the design stuff. You'll be able to see proportions more. And overall, if you look at the work of um, Il Kwang Kim or Il Kwang Kim, um, it's not always, it's mostly not colored. Maybe some, like the average, if, if, if it is colored, it's mostly flat. Like these types of stuff where it's a bit more finished. It's not that common. It's a bit more refined. Like it's mostly like this line work and then some flats. No shadows, no lighting. It's just there. But the story still shows that this one's a uh, pencil sketch. Pretty cool. I believe this was done on paper, if I recall. Huge fan. So I do recommend you check out the work of Quan Kim and another Harley Quinn. 
nice back shot and again line work is it that clean come on like it works um two values two values shadow light and then that's it you can pump these out much more quickly and uh, fuck sorry and it actually looks good so if you're looking for a reference when it comes to producing like character designs with this kind of style i do recommend the work of uh il kong kim and yeah i'll see you in the next art review bye